Demonoid is a 1981 old grindhouse horror movie starring Samantha Eggers and Stuart Whitman. And this is a movie I came across listening to Quentin Tarantino's uh, podcast. It's called the uh, Video Archives Podcast. Him and uh, Roger Avery, uh, like a, a producing but buddy of his, I think they co-wrote um, uh, uh, Pulp Fiction together. You know, they got together and they're like uh, talking about old movies and, and like things that uh, they used to watch or rent out when um, they were working at a video store together. And uh, it sounded really interesting and I was like, okay, I, I have to see this. I, I, cause I, I am a fan of like really kind of schlocky and kind of sort of terrible grindhouse theater. Growing up watching stuff like The Last House on the Left and Maniac um, and all the, uh, all the uh, Dario Argento movies like uh, Suspiria and Demons. I'm very kind of familiar with, with these kind of movies and I, I kind of seek them out too. Like there is kind of fun in like finding these like really low budget uh, low scaled, uh, barely D cinema <laughs> kind of movies. Like, like they're, they're always kind of fun because it, it, like, it's so bad. It's it's fun in a kind of way. And so I really enjoy these. Okay, so what is this about? So an opportunistic mine owner uh, down in Mexico uh, has a st stumble across this mine that has this uh, demonic temple in it. And uh, in the in the temple, he finds this hand, you know, because workers down in Mexico are spooked, right? Because I think they know that's down there. And so they don't want to go in and work. And so what what does the, the clueless rich white man do? He, the thing you're not supposed to do, of course, he goes down into like deep down into the mine, goes through the damn temple, like takes out the hand and like brings it out. Right. And so like. All the, the workers are just like, good God, why did you bring it out, you idiot? And they all just like kind of flee and run. Leave him with the, the demonic hand is loose now. And of course, you know who the first victims are. <laughs> and so that, that kind of like kicks off the, the whole thing for the movie. So yeah, so it's kind of like this movie because it's like a demonic left hand, right? And so I'm left-handed. <laughs> and so the whole time watching this, I'm like, oh, well, I'm toast. Like I'm, I'm useless without my left hand. <laughs> you know okay what do i like about this movie <laughs> so again it's grand house cinema i i love it it's it's a it's a it's a taste you know it is a taste you gotta have like kind of a taste for these kind of movies to like really get the enjoyment out of them because again it's 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 super low budget so we're talking bad effects primarily like bad practical effects Right, because there's there's no CGI. I mean, a this this came out in 1981, so CGI was kind of non-existent. There was a little bit, but it was it was terrible. It was bad. Like, no, it, usually CGI back in 1981, especially like low budget 1981, is just like get that the hell out of this movie. That don't, <laughs> what is that, <laughs> you know? But and along with that is like bad wardrobe as as well. And so is you're getting horrible acting, <laughs> horrible ADR. <laughs> and it's just I, I love it it's, it's the best I love this kind of stuff it's, it's so bad that I get enjoyment out of just kind of laughing at it <laughs> in a sense okay and so one of my fa <laughs> one of my favorite things about this uh, like I said horrible acting <laughs> just terrible and there is a cop in this that gets he kind of gets like his hand possessed or whatever and so he's he they like take over a doctor's office and he's supposed to be like, he wants to cut his hand off. He walks in the doctor's office and he has like this straight face on, right? And he's just sitting there, he has his gun like right to the the, uh, the doctor's head. And he's just said like, no drugs, no anesthesia, no funny stuff, just cut. <laughs> it's just like, what? like the director was just like, yep, that's it. There we go. Yep, let's go. <laughs> keep keep going and another and another my favorite part in this <laughs> is so he's getting his hand cut as you can see and he's supposed to be in like excruciating pain right <laughs> but that don't look like pain <laughs> i mean it, it, <laughs> i mean he looks like he's um you know enjoying <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's in some uh, beautiful agony, if you know what I'm saying. 
Okay, no, okay, I gotta get that out. It's, it's a family show. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so what I don't like about it is, so I, I saw this on YouTube, it's, somebody uploaded it on YouTube, and it's one of those things, like, it's so old that none of the corporations care, <laughs> honestly, uh, so it's, you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. The thing is, though, I would try to see if I can find a, a, a DVD or a VHS copy of it, because the copy that I saw was so damn dark, I couldn't see half the movie. It was just, it was too dark. I couldn't see anything that was going on. And like the beginning, the the whole first act is damn near like in a cave. And so like it's so dark. I don't I could barely see what was happening or what was going on. Um, and also they they um, there's some night scenes in here, too. And, you know, it's, it's again, it's so dark. I couldn't even really see what was happening. Um, I tried to adjust my screen a little bit. But after a while, I just said, I mean, it's, it's demonoid, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? And another thing that was kind of confusing, like the, the story in this. And I'm, oh, I mean, hear me out, hear me out. It's a, it's a D movie. It's, this is Grindhouse Theater. So the story is, the story, nobody cares about the story. Nobody who made this movie really cares that much about the story, right? But it, it was a thing where like the, the, the hand... All of a sudden, wanted uh, to be attached to Samantha Eggers' hand, and it just came out of the left field. Like, I guess maybe because when the hand first got free, it, it kind of attacked her and her husband, who was in the bed with her. But it at no point else was it like, oh, we need to attach to her or whatever. It just came out of left field, and it was just like. Wait, did I, maybe I missed something because the film was like so damn dark. I didn't see it or missed it. But yeah, it was weird. It was just like, oh, uh, uh, that's what the cop was saying. Like, no, it, it belongs to the, cut it off because it belongs to you. It wants you. And it's just like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> like, like half the movie, the hand was just like possessing random people and just, it had, didn't say a damn thing about that lady. But and that was, it's a pet peeve. Nobody cares. I kind of feel like an asshole for talking about like plot points in a crying house horror movie. But I don't know. It was just a thing. I just, I don't know. Yeah. So Demonoid, um, I'm, it was fun. I, I had some good laughs at it. It was fine. They did one thing really well. So like when, whenever the hand was possessing somebody, they had this really, really kind of eerie shot of like, it was almost like a, a flashback to like the exorcist. Where, um, you know, that like something would flash on the screen for a second. They had like this demonic figure or idol that would flash on the screen for a second uh, when it was whenever, uh, you know, it was possessing somebody. And that was cool. That was actually cool. I was like, oh, you know what? That's actually that kind of kind of chilling. <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's almost something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I like this movie. It, it was fine. I mean, I wouldn't be mad at giving it a two, but since I, I kind of enjoyed it, I'd say three out of five. If you're into like just really kind of throwaway, schlocky grindhouse movies, like this could be like the first movie of a double feature you're doing, you know, of like old school grindhouse exploitation type of films. And yeah, it, it fit right in. It'd be kind of fun. You'd be half paying attention to it, half laughing at it, half doing something else in the background. So, I mean, it serves its purpose. Um, it's fine. Three out of five is fine. It's cool.